Now that we've talked a little bit about should you get a business credit card uh, and kind of gone through the process of determining if getting one is right for you, let's get into how you get a business credit card. I will be covering that in today's video. Hey everybody, I'm Brandon Gustafson. I own and operate two assisted living facilities and I created this channel to help people like you learn the ins and outs of investing in assisted living. Welcome to Assisted Living Investing. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, in our last video, we talked about should you get a business credit card? I uh, kind of went through helping you decide, is that the right thing for you? Um, after you've done that and watched that video and decided that a credit card is, is the right thing for you to do in your business, um, today we're going to talk about how you go about doing that. So kind of give you an overview of the process of what it's like to go and get yourself a business credit card. So the first thing you want to do is start researching. Um, so there are, just like you are, just like you'll find when you're looking at a personal credit card, there are a lot of options out there. And uh, it's really hard to know exactly what one's going to meet your criteria um, and which one's going to be best uh, for you. But just performing a simple internet search, um, you know, business cards, um, best small business card, something like that is going to just bring up uh, a lot of different options for you. Um, you can choose from some of the bigger names um, that you'll commonly see with credit card options, uh, Capital One or American Express or uh, Chase or some of these other ones. They're going to be out there, but you could also work with your banking institution uh, to get a card with them. Um, so those are some of the options that you could look at. I'll reference some videos up here above around what those credit card options are. I'm gonna really get into that in a future video and I would love to uh, have some feedback on, on the types of options that you might be looking at and what uh, business credit cards have worked really well for you in the past. Find as you start looking through and researching these cards that a lot of these cards are going to have different perks um, associated with them. So there's going to be cash back or travel points or low fees or um, really good introductory um, rates as far as the interest rate that you have to pay on your credit card and things like that. There are a lot of perks out there um, and you'll want to research those and can take those into consideration as you're looking for the card that's going to fit for you. And after you've done all that research, the next thing is to pick that card um, that you want uh, and start their application. Um, their application process is going to be online. It's going to be a pretty streamlined process, um, just takes you through everything. Um, but once you've decided which one you want to go with, then go ahead and start that application process with them. Um, you'll also, in the process of getting started, you're going to want to check your personal credit. I've mentioned this in a, in a previous video, and I'll link that up above. Um, but for new businesses, it's it's going to require a personal credit um, for you to get that line of credit open for your business. Um, so if you are looking to get a, a credit card for your business and uh, you are thinking, oh, I'll just use the business credit because uh, my crap is crappy or I don't want it to hit my credit when they do that, um, that credit poll, um, you know, you're going to have to end up having to do that. I, that was something that was brand new to me. I didn't realize that when I was getting the business credit card that it was going to be my personal credit. It ended up being not a big deal for me, uh, but it's something to take into consideration. So you want to make sure that you are checking your credit, make sure that you have good enough credit. Um, if you have a low score, you might consider holding off on getting a credit card, uh, a business credit card. Uh, and a low score, I think it would be somewhere around like 650 or lower. Um, that's a pretty good indication to go by. Uh, if you have something that's lower than that, you might consider um, using a business partner, uh, use their credit rather than your own, um, or work with your local banking institution to see if there's anything you can do to start building your credit or to get a, uh, a credit card with even just a low limit that could help you out a little bit with some of those things that credit cards can help you out with, um, which I'll, I talked about in a previous video. I'll link that up above. Now, if you're confident that your credit is good and you don't mind the hit that it's going to um, put on your on your credit uh, when they do a credit pull um, to see how much they can give you, then um, go ahead and, and just plan on moving forward. Uh, it's it's just it's going to be just like a normal credit pull when you get a credit card or something like that. They're just going to check your credit. That's the kind of hit that it's going to have on 
your personal credit um, when you're looking at that. Now, some of the information you're going to need as you are working through the process of getting that uh, credit card, the, the application, um, it's going to be very similar uh, to some of the things I've talked about in previous videos um, around uh, like your the items that you need with the banking institution and also setting up a uh, direct deposit with Medicaid and some of those things um, that you're going to need there. So you're going to have a lot of that stuff. Again, I'll reference that up above um, so you can go and watch those videos um, for a more comprehensive list and kind of my advice on what you should do with that. So some of the items that you're going to need um, and want to have handy with you are your business EIN, your business tax ID number, um, your personal social security number. They're going to need your, to pull your personal credit and they need your social security number in order to do that. Um, they're also probably going to want the social security number for any business partners that have more than 20% ownership in your business. So if you've partnered with somebody, um, they're probably gonna want that individual's social security number as well in, in getting things set up. Um, it's possible they will want a business operating agreement um, that you've used when, that you have from setting up your entity. Um, and I'll link a video up above uh, talking about how I go about setting up my entities and things like that. Um, it's possible they'll want recent business financials, uh, profit and loss statement, and those types of things that you can get if you pull them out of your you know, QuickBooks or whatever. Um, uh, system you're using to do your finances for your business. Um, and then they'll also want a list of the employees that will need cards. So for us, that was our uh, facility administrator. We've given her a card and so we just needed her name, not even um, her social security number or anything like that, just a name so that they can put it on there. Now, once you've done the application with um, the credit card company, you've given them all the information, um, you go ahead and put that in there. Uh, you fill out that application. Uh, you hit submit and then you you just wait a couple of minutes they they usually will get you uh, results within a few minutes um, it doesn't take you very long um, sometimes it's even just a few seconds they go pretty quick they this is what they do um, as a company they have it down uh, pretty well so you're not submitting the application and waiting three weeks to to get a response you will know pretty quick um, what the answer is there and once you're approved, you'll need to uh, then just wait for those cards to get mailed to you. Um, and that can take, I would, I would plan on it being five to 10 business days um, is typically what I've seen with credit cards. Um, so it will come to you in the mail. If you're mailing one out to your administrator, um, you could send it directly to them or it could come to you and then you can give it to them. Um, you can kind of decide how you want to do that. And then once you have the card, you call and activate it. Um, they'll have the instructions on there on how you activate the card. Get that activated and you're ready to go um, and you can start uh, racking up those points i'll talk about that in a in an upcoming video um, and i'll link that up above once it releases um, and and you can just kind of start using that to uh, really take advantages of uh, take advantage of some of the things that you can do with business credit cards in our next video we're going to get into how do i build business credit uh, what's the process of, of doing that like? And I'm going to kind of get into that a little bit and explain it a little bit more. To learn more about investing in assisted living, make sure you visit me on assistedlivinginvesting.net. Would love to see you on the website. I have uh, some other content up there, free resources. You can set up a consulting call with me and we can uh, talk about your situation and how I can help you along. And then follow me on my other social media platforms. Would love to see you over there. And remember, it doesn't take a lot, just a little bit. Just keep going step by step by step keep making progress. If you do it, you're consistent, you will be successful. I promise. Thanks for watching and have a great day.